All right guys, today we're gonna to talk about a knife that got it right. Today we're taking a look at and talking about the Emerson Commander family of knives. Now, in particular, I have the Emerson Commander, I have the Minicom, and that is about it for the Commanders. Now, of course, there is the Super Commander and a handful of other different styles, makes, models, designs, and such, but they are all pretty much the same. And today I want to talk about why I think the Commander series or family of knives got it right. Now, what I mean by this is I am a big fan of recurved knives. I have quite a few things such as, once again, my um, Hinder XM18 3.5 inch that you guys are looking at right here. This guy is in fact a recurve as you guys can probably see uh, and I also have other knives like the Benchmade 630 skirmish which is the full-sized skirmish that is a, another recurved knife so I definitely have a preference and I have a handful of other recurved knives as well I won't go into every single recurve knife I own at the moment but I figured it would be it would be an interesting video to talk about why I think the Commander family got it right because there are a lot of other recurved knives out there in particular, but I think that the way, the shape, and the overall curvature of the Commander series or family is like perfect. So what I mean by this, and like I said, it's easiest to take other knives and kind of compare them to really discuss good recurves versus other recurves. Now don't get me wrong, my XM18 in 3.5 inch that is in a recurved blade, as I'm trying to say, is still one of my favorite knives. And I do think that this is an attractive looking recurve. However, I will say that as far as my recurve knives go, I think that the Emerson, like I said, um, commander, side, or commander family is the best. This is <clears throat> in my opinion one of my favorites because it just has the right level of depth and what i would say is width within its um, recurve so with the commander size or commander size but family of recurves you can see that Overall, this definitely is a recurved blade, and it's a fairly deep recurved blade. In comparison to other things, we'll pull out the skirmish here. It is a pretty, you know, like deep, but also wide um, recurve. So one that is probably my least favorite recurve of as far as like blade shapes go that I have is my 630 skirmish. And that is because you can see that this is recurved, and a recurve just means that, you know, you have a blade shape that comes back towards or into the grind of the knife. So that's essentially a recurve. The 630 Skirmish has a very um, kind of back facing or kind of its recurve area is like right at the very kind of end almost of the blade. And so it's not the most useful for actually doing like a real kind of like pass cut or you're trying to cut through things. So because of that kind of back or back leaning recurve. So definitely there's that. There's also not a whole lot of curvature to it. So when we look at things like the Emerson Commanders, you see that there is a good gentle slope, but that slope is once again, not towards the back, not towards the front, but right dead center in kind of what would be the flat of the blade. Not only that, like I said, there's a decent amount of curve because the entire kind of like ethos with recurve knives, like why do you want a recurve knife in the first place? The whole reason why you want a recurve is so that when you're cutting through objects, you have a curvature to the blade that gathers the material that you're trying to cut. Now, once again, different blade shapes, you know, either look attractive and so that's why you buy them or certain blade shapes are more functional and that's why you buy them. And so recurves definitely have their time and place. So I'm not saying every knife needs to go out and have a recurve, but once again, if you're wanting or trying to cut through, say like fibrous materials, you may want a blade shape that is designed to gather materials to essentially a focal point where they can be cut. And then this is useful, especially like I said, when you're cutting things like fibrous materials because ropes and cordage, as you pass through 
through them as a material you're trying to cut, they naturally have a tendency to want to slip or slide instead of being cut. So with a recurve, it really channels everything in to that curvature of the blade. So the longer and the you know wider your recurve is and more centrally located, it just gives it more space to channel things objects you're trying to cut into it. So that's why it makes the most sense for me to really like the Emerson Commander style of blade shape. Now, I do also find it naturally a more attractive blade shape. So I, you know, that also may skew the results a little bit, or some people might say, you know, I have favor favoritism to it for that reason. And once again, it's not in a totally unvalid or invalid reason but at the same time too like i said there is some legitimacy to the fact that these blades actually do cut very well when it comes to or in regards to actually you know using them in their recurved capacity now aside from that i also think that the thickness is pretty good on these guys um <clears throat> the thickness is the same across the board, but they are reasonably thin blades. They're around an eighth of an inch thick, and I think that that complements them very nicely. Once again, when you're trying to choose a recurve, you want something that's going to be reasonably thin, reasonably slicey, because that's really the goal and the purpose of it. I know that, you know, it may kind of initially be like, well, I want a recurve because that's what kukris are, and in invariably, these two definitely kind of have that gist, like genuinely of that kukri style curvature to the blade shape but once again these aren't machetes these aren't trying to hack through you know the limbs of your enemies or you know necessarily do anything like that but they are trying to be more they are trying to be more utility styled blades now i will say your full-sized commander does lean a little bit more into the tactical and less practical with an upper swedge now it's still not a super sharp or super narrowed swedge i think it's more stylistic but invariably if you did have to actually use it for you know self-defense any type of swedge is going to be a reduction of material so therefore it is going to allow for better penetration or stabbing if the need be. Now on a Minicom, it does not have that um, kind of feature to it, so do keep that in mind. But once again, it is really, in my opinion, um, recurves are really more for utility. They kind of serve a similar function to um, what serrations are supposed to serve. And once again, serrations are a very similar premise where they use kind of micro curvature to gather material and cut through it. So it is a similar premise, but a little bit different. And of course, a very different execution. But either way, that is the Emerson Minicom in a nutshell. The last thing that I think I really like about these guys is their handles. I think that Emerson absolutely killed it with the handle of the Commander Minicom, any of their family. These are some of the most comfortable knives as far as pocket knives go that I've ever handled. And I'm not just saying that to say it, I really do genuinely believe it. So these guys are just so freaking comfortable. They have a good amount of you know sprawling space for multiple grip positions. And I personally really like the shape. Once again, I also think it happens to look attractive in my opinion, but it is also make no mistake, a very, very functional grip pattern and a grip as a whole. So anyways, the Emerson Commander, Minicom, Super Commander and such are an excellent family of knives and definitely, definitely worth picking up, checking out if you haven't already. At least I'd recommend adding like a Minicom because they are probably some of the more practical EDC driven knives in the Emerson family. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.